I think that uh, the Brewers of Europe was lucky enough, thinking back, you know, lucky enough to consider this new development, which is indeed a less than a decade uh, development, uh, as an opportunity rather than a potential threat to any kind of potentially perceived establishment. So basically what I often call the new kids on the block are an opportunity for, for the sector. And the, you know, I've, I've now been um, um, involved in quite many board meetings of the Brewers of Europe and the, the line has always been, you know, this new development that is new kids on the block, people joining uh, with different histories and different visions, uh, but a lot of passion all, all the way, is an opportunity. Um, from an association point of view, we also see, see, see this as an opportunity, but of course you need to attract people, you know, and you need people to understand that, that an association can bring something. And this is the raison d'etre of the forum, by the way. I mean, the forum is about bringing people together, but not, not kind of in a, in a silo way, you mean, you, you see what I mean. I mean, we don't want to have a forum for the, for the big guys. We don't want to have a forum for the family brewers or a forum for the new kids on the block. And that thing. We want a forum. And a forum is about basically getting everybody together and talk and discuss and network. So when I, you know, when I actually kind of ultimately uh, validated the program for this forum, I was pleased to see this mix. This mix is absolutely essential. People need to talk to each other. They need to understand each other. And when it comes to an association, the role of an association, we have to be as meaningful as possible for all kinds of different brewers. And so, does that mean you attack new issues? The microbreweries might have different issues from the bigger brewers? Yeah, I think that, you know, microbreweries, they have they have quite um, 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 obvious issues which we understand, like, for example, um, um, fair taxation, um, access to trade, access to market. On taxation, in particular the Brewers of Europe, we've, we've worked very hard, not just in the past five years, but, but in the past actually more than one decade, on trying and making sure that the EU legislation would actually uh, favor, in the end, favor smaller brewers. So there is a piece of EU legislation which says that any member state can reduce uh, excise duties uh, down to 50% uh, for brewers that brew less than 200,000 hectoliters. It is very practical, you know. Uh, so that, that is on top of our agenda. We also work a lot on market access. And I can, if you were interested in more detail on that, I, I can elaborate. No, 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 go ahead. Market access. I mean, is market very access. What term. does it mean practically? Uh -huh. It means that um, uh, a a brewer who, which has found a niche in you know two, three markets, even outside of the EU, may be confronted with um, legislations which, uh, in the end, is an obstacle because uh, some some countries are extreme. Have a lot of imagination. You know they. To, to kind of limit extra imports, they, they, they invent um, tax stamps and, and border controls and all that. So we, our role there is to alert, um, in particular the European Commission, because the European Commission is involved in negotiating lots of trade agreements, to alert the Commission and say, well, this is not fair, you know, I mean, in that country we have access, in that country we don't have access, there needs to be, you know, a level playing field. So that's, I think that there are probably many, many, many other aspects, you know, technical aspects. But um, uh, tax, trade is, is, is absolutely key for smaller brewers. What is also key for smaller brewers is um, understanding the, the, I would say, the technical basics to, to make sure that the ultimate product is a quality product. Mm -hmm. uh, and there we have a, 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 an incredible resource, which is the European Brewery Convention. Um, they, are, uh, they are having a, their congress at the same time as we are having our forum. And these guys uh, work a lot on trying and developing knowledge tools for smaller brewers. So for example, last week uh, the European Brewery Convention issued a, 
a book which is not too boring actually, it's pretty um, user friendly on uh, filtration techniques. You know, filtration is, yeah. is, is not an easy uh, business. Uh, and that, that kind of technical support is also part of our job. Okay, and uh, how about European uh, environmental legislation? That's affecting a lot of brewers, big and small. Yeah. I know a lot of the craft brewers, we've talked to them about this, actually have it, they say it's embedded in their DNA. They come from it from, well, they're the new millennials, mostly starting. Is that uh, in line with what you do for the bigger brewers? I mean, the, let's face it, uh, I, am, I also always think in terms of a European association which is faced with EU legislation. And as it happens on environmental sustainability, there is quite a lot of EU legislation. As you know, even recent legislation, very challenging legislation. Our role there is to make sure that uh, a good practice in countries be shared amongst the, in, between the different countries. So, for example, two months ago, I organized a one-day seminar for national associations and brewers, all kinds of brewers, on um, packaging waste management. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, should we go for certain as certain parts of the packaging mix? Or should we go for deposit return schemes, or should we go for other schemes? That's part of our role. But then, you know, when you look at uh, anything that is related to environment, and we heard a lot about that today, there there are quite a lot of uh, hot things and issues, you know, to deal with as a brewer. Uh, but there are also incredible opportunities. We have worked a lot as brewers on making sure that uh, you know what spent grains is. Yes. Uh, also, the, uh, an incredible output from the brewery. We made sure that from an EU legislation point of view, that would not cons be considered as waste, but as feed material. Uh, but you know that you, we had to lobby for that. Uh, we, we could have been faced with uh, that kind of output being considered as, as waste, and that would have been really um, a shame. Um, and then of course I think that we will have to deal with um, probably uh, providing support to the smaller brewers on uh, water usage and uh, you know water optim optimizing, and that, that's a tough cookie I must say. I mean it's true that a major brewer probably is in, is in a relatively more comfortable situation saying yeah I was at six liters and I am now at three liters and I'm probably heading towards two liters I can understand the challenge for a smaller brewer and then you could hear this afternoon that medium-sized brewer are already struggling going trying and going beyond five liters uh, or less than, than five liters so that's a challenge but I think that it's an area where innovation will have to continue and in terms of the EU's emission trading scheme, do you think brewers will be included in that at some point? I mean, it's difficult to say. Um, I mean, usually, you know, I mean, the, the emission trading schemes apply for, I mean, you really need to brew a lot yeah. uh, to be subject to that. And again, I think that all multinational companies will probably have to equip themselves accordingly. Uh, that would be more difficult for a smaller brewer.